believe it or not, what you see right now is a public housing. That's right. Singapore, the most richest country in Southeast Asia, has the most incredible looking public housing. So, today, I'm going to show you how Singapore's dungeon is built. Around 80% lives in the public housing, but unfortunately, most do not look like that. That is a special one. It's called Pinnacles at Duxton. Moyoroni Eki wa ano hen ni aru Outland Park desu ga Chinatown ya eto Chonbaru, ato Tanjou Park ma de aru koto ga dekimasu. Hmm, we're here. Kubi ga moge sou na hozo takai. This is definitely the most craziest. Tallest, gigantic, cleanest public housing in the world. This is bizarre. So Pinnacles was completed in 2009, and um, it has seven towers, which uh, each tower has a height of 50 stories. So that's pretty high for a public housing. Danji desu yo, kore. Kondo jana iso. Danji de 50 kai datte nasu yo. Yaba isu yo ne. で、二十六階と五十階がスカイブリッジでつながっていて、えそこに庭園とか、あとあの運動できる施設があったりとか。We're gonna check out the facilities, and I have a friend who's living there, so he's gonna show me around his unit and everything at Pinnacles. This is like the garden at the center of Pinnacles, and look at this garden. This is so beautiful. I hear birds singing. And there's this nice place to rest, and you, you can even do yoga here. So there are like five lifts here, so that kind of tells you how large this estate is. The longest public housing elevator ever. Hi, you're there. Hi, 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 nice to meet you. Hello. Okay, so hey, hi to Desmond. Hello, my, hi. <laughs> my friend Alvin introduced me to Desmond. Thank you for having me. Oh, thank you so much for coming. I can't wait to have a look around your house. Is that, is that okay? Yeah, yeah, sure, sure, sure. Oh, first of all, the view. So can I ask you how long have you been living here? Um, this year will be the 10th year. 10th year? Oh, you bought it from BTO. Uh, the last batch. The last batch? Yeah, the last batch. How is it living here at Pinnacle? Yeah, I enjoy it because it's very convenient. It's mm -hmm. very centralized. And, it is. Yeah, and whatever you want is actually around here. Uh, yeah. Food-wise, supermarketing, uh, going out, bars, the, yeah, a lot. Yeah. Can, I, can I take a look yeah. at the kitchen? Sure. Oh, I love his refrigerator. Does that, does that lead to Tokyo on the right? <laughs> <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> yes, I also like this. This is an antique, isn't it? Antique it's style. <laughs> antique style, yeah. Antique <laughs> it's beautiful. Style. Yeah. My normal, uh, this is my room. Oh, it's quite spacious, isn't it? Oh, because it's two into one. Oh, that's why. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I didn't know there was a balcony here. It's not balcony, it's more for plant, but... Can, can I, you actually go out? Yes, you can. Oh, wow. So, it is a balcony. <laughs> it's a very small Cozy balcony. one. Nice. Do you think uh, you can show me the, the sky bridge? Oh, uh, yeah, sure. Okay. I'll bring you up to the sky bridge. Awesome. Oh, thank you. I uh, just push it. Yeah. Okay. So this is for jogging, right? Yeah, this is for jogging. This is a Insane. new one. Insane. Because 10 years we did so they just replaced this. Wow. And there's an outdoor <laughs> little gym. Huh. Outdoor gym. Wow, yeah, I, I can tell it's not for a serious workout, but <laughs> yeah. the, the view you get. Not bad. It's yeah, small too. <laughs> yeah. The view is great, but there's like no resistance here. Yeah. <laughs> You will love the view. This is great. This is a jogging track. It's crazy, this bridge. It's a bridge, but I've said it many times. 
Do, do you ever jog here? Yes. Yeah, yes. it must during, feel amazing, right? During uh, mm. lockdown, COVID period. Oh, right. Yeah. This is great, like, because it's so high up, quite windy. こうやって歩いてるともう要塞ですね、まるでゲームのゲームの世界みたいですね。It's like it's it's like a movie setting or it's like a video game, you know, like. No, it looks so cool. Yeah, mm. no, many high housing. Ah, uh, uh, Tokyo we have, but they're they're usually condos. Yeah. This is a public housing, you know, which uh. makes it so crazy. Now we're going to the sky bridge. 15th floor. The tourists could have went up, isn't it? Yes. Like before the COVID meeting? Yes. I think now they still can go up. Oh, they yeah. have to buy a ticket, then they can go up. Yeah, so it's like five dollars to go up. Yes. But you get the most amazing view. But the residents, of course, can go come up <laughs> every day, anytime. <laughs> Thank you. Well, I can already tell the view is. Yeah, it's so. <laughs> so amazing. Nanda Gorea. Tono. Tono Danchi Nanda. And you told me this is your most favorite view. Yeah. Because this is. You can see beyond. Sandosa. Yeah, which uh, means maybe it's one of the islands of Indonesia or Malaysia, maybe. Uh, right? Indonesia. 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 And you can get a totally different view if you walk yes. all the way over there right. too, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's like a panoramic view of Singapore at a public housing. That is, this view is a city view. City view. So you can, you can probably walk there, right? From here? Yes. Easily I walk. I can walk to my office last time. Ah, amazing. <laughs> oh, and that's Chinatown, isn't it? Yes, that's Chinatown. The location is super great. Ah, so this is like the highest point of yeah, this. Uh... Okay. Oh, nice, nice. It's pretty nice. Now we're trying to go to the other side. But man, this place is. It's really huge. The beach. Ah, this is the beach. Yeah, it's not so Oh. <laughs> oh, this is a beach! <laughs> yeah. Wow! Well, if you're going to be here, you'll be like a beach. It's a little bit of a shock. It's a little bit of a shock. It's a little bit of a shock. But it's a little bit of a shock. And of course, every HCB public housing has a children's playground. So this is a different view. That's Chinatown. Sometimes I, I don't know where I'm at. I'm thinking I'm at a condo. The, the feel is so different. Maybe the view, the height, the modern design. You can learn about the history of public housing of Singapore here. Have a good day. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye. So what's cool about public housing in Singapore is that sometimes you'll have a school, a supermarket, a beauty salon, a medical clinic, and even food courts. So most of the uh, public housing has a food court at the ground level, but this is so crazy. So I got a faucet set for $16.90. Uh, not the cheapest, but it's pretty good. But anyway, this this is like the most fanciest food court at ground level of HGV. What's also cool is that they have like a bar over there serving craft beer. That is, I need to get some later. <laughs> okay. So that was Pinnacles. A great HCB public housing. 
unbelievably modern high floor but the question is how much does it cost to purchase a flat so i did some research online um so the basic uh, three bedroom unit with two toilets the cost starts from around 1 million singapore dollars which is like 800,000 usd so it's not cheap it's not cheap for for public housing and that is because the location is just so prime when this hgb was first built um i've heard the price was like it was like only like 300,000 to 400,000 but now the price is like over double so would you guys buy a flat here for a million singapore dollars let me know in the comments i love the location i love the design i love the the garden at the top but you can you can get a condo with with that price 50階なら観光客でも行けますので今はちょっとコロナで行けないと思いますがコロナ後は行けると思いますので皆さんもぜひ気になった方来てみてくださいこれがもうシンガポールの団地の底力です見てすごい図ですよねいやおおなんとナイ